Good day everybody and welcome to a new daily vlog. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Let me know what the weather's like at your end. It's still scorching hot here. Um, I don't know when this weather's going to go. Apparently yesterday was meant to be, well, where we are in Eastbourne was meant to be the last day of full heat and everything and so make the most of it. But it still seems to be really hot around here so I don't know if they were just mucking about with that. But um, Steffi's right now editing a video as we speak right now. I'm going to head over to my local... Uh, like supermarket like sort of little chain sort of supermarket and then they can pick up some milk some pasta and maybe some water and stuff like that um you know just to get the basics um yeah and we're doing our main food shopping on wednesday but i just wanted to pick up a little few bits and bobs so you're going to come with me so let's go we get some almond milk that's on sale for a pound i might get two yeah we love this stuff gonna grab some whole wheat spaghetti just keep us going for a few more days till we go food shopping in Aldi. And literally halfway from getting home it started raining. It's just this weather today is so weird, so maybe it is the end of the sunny weather at the moment here. But it's just a little bit of rain, it's probably gonna humidify this place even more, make it even more sticky and muggy. But I'll show you what I got from um, my shop because I got more than just more and stuff. So besides getting the almond milk and the whole pasta, I got some wraps because I'm gonna make some chicken wraps. Um, we've got some veg, uh, frozen veg we got from Audi, like Thailand frozen veg. It was really, really nice. So we're going to be having some chicken with that today. And then I've put, I bought two of these, so I put one in the fridge. So it's nice and chill, so we have our tea or coffees in the morning. And I also got a six pack of some Pepsi Max. They didn't have any water, no water there, and no uh, big bottles of Pepsi Max. So I just got some cans, because it was easier. So chicken is cooking. Hopefully we should be getting that sorted very soon. And then after that is done, Thank you, Dryer, for talking and interrupting me, or whatever I'm saying. Stop talking! Stop making noises! So yeah, chicken is cooking right now. So when I get done, I'm going to start with the vegetables and I'm going to heat the tortilla wraps. So we're going to serve them with some hot sauce and some uh, yogurt as well. So the chicken's all cooked now. I'm just cooking the Thai-style Thai vegetables, these are. So a mixture of like sugar peas, got some bok choy in there, um, some peppers in there, onions, and they're coated in like a a Thai style sauce. So I'm just gonna cook these down and I'm gonna heat up the tortilla wraps, cut the chicken up and then we're all done. Here we go, so chicken wraps with some hot sauce, this Thai style veg, and I put some yogurt in there as well. Spicy, spicy. There you Thank go, Steffi. You. Hello everyone. Hello everybody. Steph's finished editing. Yeah. Now we're gonna eat some food. Now we're rendering. Yay. We all love a good render, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Enjoy your food. Hi. So we're out and about now, we're going back into Primark, see if there's any more updates maybe on Lion King, maybe, hopefully, but they're changing something. We've got some Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse jumpers here, adorable. I quite like the um, That one there, the mustard, the mustard one. We've also got Harry Potter stitch trousers, very nice. What's wrong with being in Gryffindor? She looks like she's just not happy at all, is she? <laughs> she's like, oh no, I wanted Hufflepuff, I wanted Hufflepuff. What's weird is, is on the camera it looks really like yellowy, but it's here it's cream. actually the cream. <gasps> Feels so, so soft. I can't wait to wear layers again. Only £10. And so. look, they do 2X. 2XLs. 22 to 24. Yeah, it's a blue, you've got pinks, you've got a little red, red ones, mustardy ones again. But yeah. Nice. Soft feeling. <laughs> All these different like water bottle covers, or hot, hot water bottle covers, sorry, and Steph just found one maybe for Jen. Jen would love this, a little, a little slop sloth. hot water bottle. I mean, I mean, it's always really hot in Florida. Maybe a cold water bottle. Yeah, but it does get chilly though in in like yeah. January time, Chill. February time. Cuddle a sloth. Cuddle an alpha. Yeah. We've also got Buzz Lightyear mugs on sale for three pounds, and the genie uh, lamp teapot is only a fiver. A bargain. These are super cool. We got one of these in our office and it's just it's always a great place in our office you okay there what have you found you wish jellyfish you wish jellyfish always had our eyes on these the two pound cushions bargain yeah we've had our eyes on them yeah. for such a long time so it kind of reminds us of toy story in yeah way. and it could, it'll go well in our living room as well so they've got the mickey true original 90s which we showed you on a previous vlog i suppose but or vlogist. I keep saying vlogmas, vlogist, vlogist, David. But does it look like to me, or this is just going to completely capsize? That's 
Stop. This just doesn't feel. Just don't touch. Uh, just don't touch. Do you fancy a 3D pencil eraser of Ron or of a one eyed Harry Potter? <laughs> also, they got quill pens. And I assume these are, yeah, of your houses. So you got Hufflepuff, there's Gryffindor, and uh, Ravenclaw and Slytherin are gone, so obviously they're, po they're popular here. The ones out. They're all out. You've got a bee. We think this is, yeah, it's a dragonfly, yeah, because it's got the zip. The zip. Oh, okay. The yeah. zip's a dragonfly. Uh, there's your little tail. Yeah. You don't have a little stinger on there. That'll be really the, cute yeah. so you can get sting. Technically, you could dress up as Winnie the Pooh with that as his Halloween costume. Do yeah. you want to be a Pooh uh -huh. Bear? Because he dresses up as a bee. I like that. This is just a regular one. It's quite thin as well. It's quite yeah, nice. it's quite nice. The shopping centre is coming along. They've even got all the windows and fittings in the inside. And then they just have to point out they've got the door over there. The doors are in! The doors are in! The doors are in. It's happening! So apparently this is going to be a next on the left and that's going to be H&M. Apparently they're meant to be opening around December time, hopefully, apparently. That's the rumoured. Just think of all the Disney stuff in H&M. Hmm. <laughs> Free ice cream! Just check the one two out and look, there's a free ice cream! Oh yeah! Ending soon, let's get it! Yeah! Hotel Chocolat! Yes! It's got hazelnut sauce on it. Mm. Is it good? It's good. Really good. Tastes good. Yeah. Free always tastes nice. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah! Hello! I've just come back from the gym. I completely forgot to record it. It was a 10 max rep workout today. So I had to do, I had to try and find out what was my max weight for bench pressing and what my max weight is for deadlifts. Um, my bench press, I managed to do 42.5 kilos and then my deadlift, I was doing 90, which I get heading towards my 100 goal. Even though I've done 90 before, um, I've not lifted 90 for quite a few months. I think it was a few months uh, before I started my boxing training so it has been a while so we were a little bit like oh I don't you know I was a little bit scared but managed to do it everything's fine um so yeah managed to do that okay I feel fine feel great whoop, whoop, whoop. um felt a little bit nervous I was like quite shaky today uh one thing I mean you all know that I, I I've got anxiety um and one thing that does trigger anxiety is the heat and because I know we keep blabbering on about it, but um, there's only so much of the heat wave that you can take. And because there's no like anywhere to cool down or anything like that, it's it's getting a bit of a struggle, to be honest. And uh, today has not been a really good day in regards to um, anxiety. So the past like few days have been a little bit challenging for my anxiety. Um, the things that really trigger it off, like I say, is heat. And also if um, I'm in um, a very crowded area, like, you know, like town or supermarkets, you know, Christmas shopping, you never see me around on a busy time on Christmas shopping, <laughs> believe me. It's been quite a challenge for the last few days because it's just constantly the same temperature and it's really muggy and humid and even though I'm trying to get out and about, you know, I'm, I'm doing everything, I just feel like I'm treading water and today I just had, uh, I had a little panic attack today which um, I concentrated by getting myself back in the zone by actually ripping up paper. I was just ripping paper and just trying to concentrate on that and slowly I was able to to realise that I was ripping paper and I was able to get back into the zone again. So I'm okay, I'm all good, I'm all good. Uh, but I just thought, you know what, these vlogs are all about what we get up to and how I've been dealing with stuff and I'm just being completely truthfully honest about how I deal with my anxiety. So so my anxiety, you know, yeah, I it, it has improved since I had like CBT like a few years back. Um, but I do have the odd occasional attack. That it, it has improved so much over the years. It's like I can be easily in a, a theme park even when it's really busy and I'll be okay and I'll be fine. And I know when I'm not okay. And that's another thing. I know when I'm not okay and I'm not afraid to be like, I have to just step out for a minute, you know, and I have to just, you know, just say, I have to step out for a minute give me a moment and I'll be back. Everything is completely fine, I think, today. I just needed to have a bit of a release of a panic attack today because I just completely froze. 
like today I was just completely froze I couldn't I couldn't think I couldn't answer any questions I mean I just I just I <laughs> I just I just didn't know what to eat or anything like that. Going to the to the gym today definitely helped me focus on something else and I've just zoned out completely, which has been lovely. It's been great. You see this little thing here, this little bug zapper. Because every time when we open up windows, the whole of Bugs Life comes in. And that's the only problem when you live in a seaside town, is you get some weird and wonderful bugs coming in. Like, yeah. Really weird and wonderful. And it's it's just a pain. You know, you don't want to spray loads of fly spray around the um, the house because we've got bunnies, you know? I, I don't know what I'm doing to the bunnies. So we resulted in this little thing and this little thing kind of works well. In fact, true fact, true fact, there's a little spider that lives in there. He's a clever little spider. The little spider just lives right underneath in the tray. And it's like, clever little spider. He's just waiting. He's like, oh, I don't, I don't. I don't need to hunt for my food. I can just get it grilled. It's fine. And uh, yeah, he, he lives happily in there. So, um, and I've got terrible arachophobia, but I mean, if he's living in there, it's fine, whatever. Giving him free food, he didn't bother around me, that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> there we go. That's a little random ramble for you. <laughs> Still no Lion King stuff in Primark. What's going on? What is going on? I don't think Eastbourne is ever going to get it because Primark was looking very empty, like as though that there was going to be a big change that was going to happen. And it tends to happen when all the autumn stuff kind of comes in, uh, which I'm very excited for because I want to wear layers so much. I, just, I can't wait to wear layers. But um, I am up north next week. So here's hoping one of the Primarchs might have a few items left. I'm not too sure. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And also thank you to everybody who recommended me to, to buy uh, weight gloves for my weights. I do have them. I actually have like three pairs. But every single pair I've had a problem with. And they don't seem to stick to my hands. I think I must have weird hands. I've got got weird hands and um, I noticed today when I was lifting up the 90 um, I used chalk my coach was like use chalk let's see how you get on without any gloves and it was wonderful like like nothing pinched I grabbed properly I was more in control like there was no slipping of the gloves or anything like that so I'm actually use. I've decided to use chalk now instead of um, gloves you know, instead of gloves, because I'm able to have more control on my equipment now. So, yeah. And it's fine. And I didn't get any pinching. I mean, that's that's the aftermath from the other day. Um, and there is a little bit of chalk, because I've just come back. But, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. I was like, I didn't... There was no pain at all whatsoever. And she's just like, yeah. And uh, my coach was agreeing, saying, yeah, she uses chalk when, when she's lifting um, heavy weights and stuff. And I'm just like, well... There you go! I went to go and fetch the camera so that you can hear the rain. The rain stopped. Typical. Typical. But it's raining and it's quite cool. It's nice. It's very nice. It's gonna thunder though, I think. I think it's gonna thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening me! Gonna have a late night snack. Macaroni and cheese. I say late night. It's not late, late night. But macaroni and cheese time. I've had to literally move my head like this, so I I have to keep very very still now. Otherwise, no. <laughs> that is the end of today's vlog, everybody. I yes. hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I cannot believe that the gold teapots, the gold genie teapots, are on sale. Go go go! Get them! Get them! <laughs> they're totally worth it, and they're amazing. Definitely yeah. worth it for a fiver as well. Bargain. Mm, it is. Yes. Yeah. So, if you like this video, give it a massive thumbs up, really appreciate it. And if you have not already, click that red button down below and subscribe. And to make sure that you smash the bell button so you are notified of our next video, which of course is tomorrow. Yes. There's another daily vlog, so we should see yeah. you guys then. Have a wonderful night, guys. Good night. <laughs>